Okay, exciting news guys, I've got another date for another Fearless event. It's on the 19th of June in London. It starts at 1 p.m., it finishes at 3 p.m. I just want to say, man, I'm so pleased that the Fearless event is growing because I did start it a while ago and obviously we had the COVID, we had the interruption, so we lost a bit of momentum, but I, I never gave up. I really believe in this event, it's changing lives. It's, it's helping in so many different ways. Just off the top of my head, first of all, mental health. It's helping guys to improve mental health because it's an event where we actually meet in person, believe it or not. It's not an online event where you're on a Zoom call. Cause that, you only, a certain amount of that is okay, but not too much. Uh, it's a great place to, to make friends, to build connections. You can ask me questions you, I'm in person rather than just having that relationship uh, on YouTube, you know, with the videos, which is, which is good to a certain degree, but it's not, as, it's not as powerful getting a coaching experience in person as opposed to getting it over a video. And you get to meet other people and you get to practice facing your social anxiety, your, your life anxiety, and you're gonna improve your dating skills, your relationship skills, if, if that's important to you and you really wanna do that. Business skills, if that's important to you, entrepreneurial. There's so many ingredients we bring to the table. And you've got to remember, there's, everybody's got different talents who come. It's not just me, the teacher. There's other people there that you can learn from, that have got different skills. You can share your skills. You can help one another. We can encourage one another, motivate, motivate one another. And that's what we do. And just have a great time. Just chill out and just, just enjoy life. So I really appreciated the last one. I had a friend fly over from Ireland. I had a great time with him. I always, I'm just so grateful when people, you know, fly from other countries to come to my Phyllis event, my weekend programs, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. And it's been happening for years. And it, sometimes I've got to pinch myself uh, and realise that this isn't a dream. Uh, this is happening. It, it really is amazing. So my goal is two goals I've got for this Phyllis event. I want to make a bigger impact than I made back in the day, which was a great impact. But obviously, new chapter bit older, a bit wiser, a couple more grey hairs. Still got the good looks though. Every, all of you would agree on that, right? I mean, that, that's obvious. We, we shouldn't even talk about that. That's a no brainer. Everybody knows that. Anybody, that, anyway. So my goal is to make a bigger impact. My second goal, right, in, in a, in a non-pressure way, is to increase the numbers because I've been running the Phyllis event in the park, which has been fantastic. Then I changed it into the Irish pub, the, which is great. But my long-term vision is, possibly filling out a stadium or, or a bigger place. Because back in the day, I used to do like quite large public talks. And I just wanted to kind of get myself back, you know, get the rust off, get my fears off, get my confidence back. Because all I want to continue to do is do what I believe I was born to do, which is to inspire people, motivate them and help men to improve their confidence uh, and, their, and their anxiety as well. And I don't want to exclude women from that, by the way, because there's a lot of women who get a lot out of my videos, but it just happens that I just coach men, right? So I don't want to leave anybody out, but because I obviously, as a, as a paid profession, I, I work with guys and guys seem to be more, more comfortable with me, but it's great that women can, they can change their life off the back of my free YouTube videos. So basically, <laughs> the guys have got to pay me and the women, they get it all for free, right? We, we can't complain. So, that's my um, vision and I'm succeeding. It's just happening gradually, like all success does, and I'm willing to continue working hard. I enjoy it. So it's, it's not really stressful for me because I love doing these events. And the good thing about these events so far, the, the, this particular event is free. Um, but obviously you don't have to spend any money, but you've got to spend some courage. You've got to stop being a coward if you want to change your life, right? And I always say, if you can't change your life and you're not able to do it, there isn't any shame in that because the mental health, the anxiety, please speak to someone, your parents, a friend, get professional help. That doesn't make you a coward or weak. That makes you intelligent, that makes you a strong person. For me, a coward is someone who is in a position where they can take action, they can do more, but they're, they're choosing to be a coward. And that's also a dictionary definition. Anyway, that's, that, that's another story for another video. I keep getting people come up to me saying, well, I love the coward videos. Why don't you do more? Why did you take them down from, from YouTube? So I've kind of realized what, what an impact that they've, they've had on a lot of men. They've helped a lot of men to get out of a bad place and into a good one. So the Fearless event is gonna help you to get out of a bad place. And it, see, it's great because you're coming to an environment where you're gonna get a lot of positivity 
a lot of encouragement, a lot of love. And, and you're in a position where you can practice also giving that same energy out to other people, which always makes you feel good. Good little tip there. If you have low self-esteem and low self-worth, if you start helping other people, making a difference, serving other people and generally uh, trying to be a better person, your self-esteem starts to increase as a result of you building up other people. A lot of people forget that. I forget that sometimes. And then, then I'll prey on it, I'll realize it, I have so much experience from doing it, I'll draw back on my experience. So it's gonna be amazing. I'm so 100% confident the next Fearless event is gonna fill up like the last, it's gonna be even bigger. So the 19th, email me now. Spaces are, they're kind of limited, right? I'm not gonna, because there's only, because depending on the weather, we'll either go out in the park or we're gonna go inside. If we go inside, the space is limited. Um, so I'm trying to do the best I can to, um, we will get a venue when we need one, when, as the event keeps growing, right? But uh, I'm not in a rush. I'm going to go at the pace that I've been going at the moment. That's been working for me and everyone. So send me an email. I'll give you the exact address. Uh, we do meet in Covent Garden, but we have a specific meeting point because Covent Garden is kind of big if you don't know it. And, and I'll email you. And it was great. I had another gentleman I really appreciate. He traveled down from Devon. So, you know, people travel from all around the world, all different places. It really is amazing. So I appreciate it. Another gentleman came and said to me, I appreciate this. I know it, but it's nice to hear it. He was just saying to me, you know, like, reminding me of how, how much my work helps people. Um, and he, he was kind. I mean, um, I mean this in a respectful way. I, it's like I'm looking for approval because I feel like in a respectful way, I, I don't need it. But it's nice to be appreciated. I, I really appreciated that. Everybody, it's, a, it's nice to be appreciated for the work that you do. And this gentleman said he's been following me for a long time. Um, fear has been holding him back and he finally managed to come. And I thought he did an excellent job. I had nothing but respect for the guy coming. I respect everybody who comes. Because I know it's not easy, guys. I know the anxiety. But you've got to change your mindset. You've got to push yourself and get comfortable with being uncomfortable socially. And the more you do that, eventually you get comfortable being uncomfortable for a period. And then you're, if you keep going at it, you're just completely comfortable, you're confident, and you're just gonna love being around people. And that's really what I really wanna get people to a point where they love being around people they're, and they're happy in themselves. Obviously, it's never gonna be perfect, but we want it to be way better than, than what it is now for you and to keep growing and, and um, just keep having a great time. So um, that's kind of um, how I feel about the next event and I uh, look forward to your emails. As I said, I'm so confident that this one's gonna fill up like the last one did and it's just gonna keep growing as it has been. So I appreciate all of you that have come down and everyone who supported the Fearless event from when I first started it means a lot. And just to quickly give you some insight, the origin of the event. This event was actually created out when I had a mental health breakdown. I went through a breakdown, bad time of my life, but I, I just took so much positives from it and I decided that I was gonna do a fearless event off the back of my breakdown and I was gonna come back, recover, get myself confident teaching again. And, by the, and thank God, uh, faith, my own mindset, my determination, uh, refusing to lose that fight in me, that dog in me, and was able to, um, to reach that goal and continue building on that goal, making this event bigger and making a bigger impact. So I look forward to seeing you guys down, all right? Have a good day.